you know, objectively speaking, this was probably a pretty terrible idea. I just declared war, essentially, Eddie, on the largest faction besides the NCR around. You know, the Legion, the guys who waged war on the NCR and almost won ten years back. And, you know, I could give you all kinds of reasonings about why I did it, you know, about how, you know, the Legion were, you know, threatening trade, they were attacking my hometown, or, you know, any anything like that. But at the end of the day, I came through town, saw people on crosses, saw this guy, and I had a gun, and suddenly I was shooting. And it's getting really dark really quickly. And you know what, Eddie? It's going to make our life really interesting. But at the end of the day, I do it again. So, Nipton is in flames. The Legion are at least, you know, vaporized and taken out. But that leaves us with an entire town to explore and essentially loot because well there's nobody here there was only one survivor and we killed him we killed the perpetrator so we might as well just you know well it's it's time to loot i guess is what i'm saying and ranger ghost did say go check out the town hall so we're gonna do that first okay Something just blew up. So, consider that, you know, a forewarning. There are explosives here. Oh, we have dogs. Hello, dogs. Let's get the nice, good ammo in here. We probably don't need it just for dogs, but still, we have it, so why not? Now, this is a nice gun. Did I see a gleam of... Is that, is that a mine, or what is that? Or is that just a... Okay, it's... Oh, look at me, sighing in relief. It's like, oh no, it's just a body. Oh, look at me. You know, I'm such a hero. Okay, let's quickly make sure we have all the dogs gone. Let's just go for this thing. Because we, you know, we're going get get to get rid of our ammo anyway. Might as well use the thing that doesn't cough anything. Like that one. Oh, hi there. Oh, there was... There was a bomb there. There was a mine under that body. That is not fair. Like, that is that is not... Okay, that... That's... Ah! And now my leg's broken, and that's fun, and I don't have... How many doctor's bags do I have right now? I only have four of them. So my plan originally was to continue heading on after Nipton. You know, to go to go around and just press on towards Novak. I figured, you know, we have plenty of stuff to trade. We don't have anything we really need in Good Springs. But now we might have to take a hike back to Doc Mitchell's anyway. The good news is, if there were any dogs, they should have come running after that. Keep an eye out for mines, Eddie. Because, you know, apparently the Legion are hiding them under bodies. Isn't that charming of them? Although, in addition to doctor's bags, I'm pretty sure I do, yes, have Hydra. Which would do the job nicely. And would heal all the limbs at once. Yeah, let's do that. And that should heal off after time, but yeah. In a few minutes, that should be... Holy crap. That... That, Eddie, is an anti-material rifle. It's like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we have it. Holy crap. Okay, we're just going to quickly make sure that all the dogs are cleared out on this floor. Looks like that's the second floor cleared out. Does this go back down? Yes, okay. We got two stairways. Both, both go back down to the first floor. So what's up here on the third floor, then? We have 
The Stein's office. Hmm. Stein. Sounds like a beer mug. Okay, let's put, turn the light on. The compass doesn't show any red marks. So that's good. So we should just be able to loot in peace now. Okay, mayor's office. Hello. What do we have in here? Hello, energy cells. I'll be taking those. Thank you much. And a big book of science. Don't mind if I do. Programmer's digests. <laughs> it almost sounds like this Mayor Stein was having issues with his, with his terminal. Okay, reset mainframe connection, testing, prison break, and high roller. Reset mainframe connection. What mainframe connection? Handshaking complete. Okay. Testing. Tony was kind enough to build this terminal and set it up for me, all for 30 caps worth of Rosie. Ha! The life of a mayor suits me just fine. I'm glad I didn't go any further east. I'm making plenty of caps right here off Rosie and Sylvia, who attract plenty of interest from troops at the Mojave, at the Mojave outpost. Guess you spend enough time standing around that backwater and you're ready to drop on anything that looks like a mole rat and doesn't smell much better. And the local shops are all giving me a percentage of sales to, bring to the troops because my girls who bring them in, they think they're true negotiations for getting me to accept a 15% cut instead of 20%. Another year in this dump, to the most, and it's back to the hub for me. Maybe I'll run for office there. Ha! <laughs> Mayor Joseph B. Stein. I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem too bad, really. I mean, yeah, he's running a brothel, but it's like, you know. I, I mean, what what else are you going to do? It's like, right? Prison break. A promising development, if I do say so myself. It seems things went to hell at the NCR Correctional Facility north here, and the scare prisoners are roaming free. Sounds like a bad thing. And would be. If not for the political acumen and interpersonal alchemy of your truly, Mayor Joseph B. Stein, Esquire. I sent the gyms out to make contact with the super with prisoners, or powder gangers rather, they insist on this name, to let them know the Nipton's open for trade, with free turns with the girls as door prizes. You know the way for that deal. As sold by little Jim any as sold by little Jim anyway. Big Jim R.I.P. I see a lot of potential here, so long as I can see keep the NCR troops and powders, ridiculous name, from running from running into each other and shooting it out in the streets. Luckily, the troopers only come at night, double entendre, so if, the, so if the powders will only come during the day, again, double entendre, I'll have them coming, third time, the charm, and going. Yours in confidence, Mayor Joseph B. Stein, Esquire. And High Roller, this would be the guy that they said they burned at the stake, right? So, let's see how this ends. I can hardly believe my luck, literally, I'm agape. Just now I was approached by a rather intense young man calling himself... Mr. Fox. Yeah, right. When we were alone in my office, he let it be known that he is a member of Caesar's Legion. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. He knew that NCR troops and powder gangers often spend time in Nipton. It turns out that the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups. The NCR for obvious reasons and powder gangers for harassing Legion raid parties on this side of the river. I didn't have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the powders to, to, to kidnap the NCR troops tonight. When both groups are in town, the Legion boys will scoop everyone up. Ha! For this simple task, I've been offered 8,000 caps. I could almost go back to the NCR right away. But who knows how much else I might make off this Legion lackey. I'm going to start stockpiling some supplies in a safe house between here and the Mojave outpost. Just in case I decide to head back home in a hurry. Very exciting. Signed with a steady hand on the keyboard, Super Mayor Joseph B. Stein, the third Esquire. <laughs> yeah, that worked out well for him. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what to say. Like, on the one hand, he did sell out the town and he deserved everything that, got, that he got coming to him. On the other hand, he did have a certain amount of, well, I won't say style, but um, how to put it? Panache, maybe? Anyway, here's his supplies. We'll take the gun and the scotch and the stuff we can sell in a hurry. Anything else worth taking? Ooh, we'll take the microfusion cells because those can turn into energy cells at a pretty good conversion rate and some free money. All right, that just leaves the lower floor to us to clear. We went up, we didn't go down. So let's quickly go take care of that. And then go loot the rest of the town. What time is it right now? It's almost midnight. So really what I should be looking for is a place to sleep. Yeah, that'd be nice. What the crap? This guy also had an anti-material rifle. I 
guess we can sell that at the Mojave Outpost. That was, that's unexpected. Yeah, I'm beginning to think I might have to get rid of the mod, the GR Raid right to, right to bear arms, same kind of character. It's like, it's a good mod, but it gives these people all these incredibly valuable items that I, you shouldn't normally have at this time, at this point in the game. Like, normally by Nipton, you do not have two, an anti-material rifle, let alone two. Also, how much do those things weigh? Let's see, right now, anti-material rifles are 40 pounds, holy crap. And we have a hard lock door, but that's okay because we have hard lock skill. Eddie, why are there lottery tickets down here? Like, I don't expect there to be, you know, I, I don't know. Like people who came down here and locked the door and just, you know, cowered down here and said, oh, if we stay down here, surely the Legion won't find us. But no, and look, a, a, a ripper, like, it's like, that's something you don't see until the end game. Yeah, this mod is gonna have to go, I think. All right, Eddie, now it's time for us to do just, you know, really pour through here, make sure we grab everything, all the tin cans, and because those can turn into scrap metal, and we can turn that into lead and turn that into turn that into ammo. Aha. Uh -huh. See? This is what I was telling you about, Eddie. Legion, they're tricks to gets. Oh. And a key to that to that door we just unlocked. So that's the town hall cleared. We can now go back to Ranger Ghost and say, yeah, things have gone south. But we still need to go find a bed, because it's probably around midnight right now, and we need to find a place to sleep kind of overcast, so it's not as dark as it could be. But let's just go through the houses one by one. Well, this is really about as nice as you're gonna get for a house. It's like, okay, Eddie, stand guard. I'm gonna have myself a nice little sleep. You know, grab the pillows, get on there. There's no sheets, but hey, it's a nice mattress at the very least. All right, Eddie, it's a new day. Let's move on and clear the rest of the town. How do we want to do this? Do we just want to go around the edge of the town? Yeah, that seems good. Just, you know, go around, clearing every house one by one. Every day is a oh, good hi. Day. A Mr. Gutsy prototype. How, why are you here? Yeah, you can just go down, please. I'm sorry you had to see that, Eddie. I wasn't expecting, you know, a Mr. Gussie to pop out at me when I entered somebody's home. Why is there a Mr. Gutsie in here? Can we find an explanation for the Mr. Gutsie in here, I hope? Oh, see? Now I, now I wish I'd come in here. This this bed has pillows and sheets. It's like that. That's so much nicer. Okay, we have a terminal. Hopefully this has an explanation. Another reset main from connection request. Okay, specifications. Things are finally looking up. I got both gutsies up and running and this terminal working too, so I can keep a regular journal. Fix up a terminal for Bayer Stein too, so he can run his, run his numbers and got a free turn with Rosie as payment. Dare I say, yeah. All I need now is for a new gal to come to Nipton, one who doesn't know nothing about me. If I can get, in, get to her and show her my gutsies before anyone else can turn her against me, she'll be impressed and that'll do it. I has to do it. It's not like every man out there could face a robot. I'll tell her she'd never have to do housework. That'd be the clincher. It'd be so nice not to have to pay Rosie. This writing stuff is harder than I thought. I better stop here. P.S. For maximum impact, only show one gutsy to gal. Let admiration take hold. Then reveal second gutsy. <laughs> and we got a real player here. Real, um... I, I don't know how to say it. It's like... Un un unincompetent. There we go. That's how we say it. All right. Let's fix some things up real quick because we have a workbench. I mean, not that I don't like you, Eddie, but uh, it's like this is... um, It's got a bigger work surface is what it is. Okay. This house has sandbags on it. Should that worry me? It's like, who builds sandbags around their house entrance? For that matter, and I'm being very quiet, Eddie, who keeps scorpions inside their house and puts a tripwire across their kitchen door? 
apparently somebody who kills legions, so I can't really begrudge, begrudge him that. And has mines. Tripwires and mines. Bloody hell. And lock. Who puts a lock on their refrigerator? For Nuka Cola, you locked your fridge and your cabinet. There's nothing in there. Why is it locked? Declaration of Vital Essence. Okay. What is that? I, Henry Collins, hereby declare sole proprietorship of Vital Essence and claim here to all legitimate rights in defending said essence versus all comers, QED. Town's been going to hell ever since Mayor Stain waltzed in from Route West, saying he put Nipton on the map. Well, we know the real reasons he come to town. He come from my Vital Essence. And then more come. The town's been growing by the day, all of them coming from my Vital Essence as if I didn't know it. And then more come, ask questions like, Henry, why do you spend all your time in that house of yours? You got something special in there? Since we're after my essence is what they're doing. I've had enough. I'm locking up my essence and I'm going to and I'm setting up defenses. No one's going to get their hands on my vital essence except old Harry himself. Come what may. Harry Collins. Well, bloody Harry Collins, I'm glad you died in the fire. You've got pressure plates too. And a mine. Okay. If I were to step on this pressure plate, what would it set off? Give me that. Oh, bobblehead luck. Well, thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. And we have a locked desk again with nothing in it. Okay, we're just going to really quickly. Oh crap! That's what that's what that's what, that's what pressure plate does. Is it releases the scorpions? I was trying to hop over, but it's in like in the perfect place where I can't do it. Well, at least we get some free ammo out of it. Okay, and now we very carefully disarm the mine. And what's in the very easy locked safe? A Patriot's cookbook and a grenade rifle. That's your vital flipping essence. Oh my word. And he had a shotgun set up there, too. I find this Harry Stein. I'm. I'm stealing your pork and beans! And so there! Okay, that just leaves, I think, the trailers out there, a house, and I think, like, these three or four houses. And both legs are crippled. Well, golly gee willikers, I guess we do need to head back to Good Springs. Anything else that out here? We have a laser rifle, hello. And a wastelander trying to defend himself who turned one of these guys. Oh yeah, well done you. Well, okay, we can't turn that to ammo. I guess it has to be our kill to do it. But yeah, well done you for, for defending yourself like that. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting in this one. But you know what? I'll take, you know, not interesting over... <laughs> What we just saw with Her with Harry's vital essences. That just leaves the Nipton trading post. And you know, if, if there's a place with valuable loot, it's gonna be it's gonna be the store. Um. Hello. That looks like a powder gang already. Hello, box cars. Are you fucking kidding me? First, I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! Oh. Well, first off, what I have against you is some of you went off and killed and ate a family in Good Springs, so... Yeah, there's that. What happened to the town? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? Well, yes, I got that, but but how did you survive? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. <laughs> oh, well, if it makes you feel good, he didn't survive either. 
Yeah, but, um, it's a it's a long story. Actually, no, it's not. I shot him in the head. Tell me off the lottery. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. And how'd it go wrong? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. Okay, and after everyone got lottery tickets? What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs in the winter. They let go free. Okay, and the mayor, dare I ask? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. <laughs> well, I can't say he didn't really deserve it. I mean, yeah, I was acting in self-interest, and maybe if I'd been in his place, I might have done the same thing. Which, uh, really is a, kind of a sobering thought, that. Uh, you said some people were enslaved. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged them off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not my problem. That's how I figure it. Got problems of my own to handle. And, okay, yeah, you have fun, all right? Later. Yeah, it's not like you're going anywhere, not with those broken legs. <laughs> I'm stealing all your crap. It's like, yeah, have fun with that. It's like, I'm not going to kill you, but I'm not really going to go gonna go out of my way to help you either. You're, you are still a powder ganger. All right, anything good up here? Look for safes. Yes, a safe generally has the best stuff in it. 90 bottle caps, don't mind if I do, and a bathroom without a sink. If pro is the opposite of con, then what is the opposite of congress? <laughs> I like, I like, I actually really do like that. That's a good joke. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go report back to, back to ghosts and say, yeah, bad news about that. Then we go back, then we go back to Doc Mitchell to go get our legs fixed up. Actually, we do have a dock bag, so if necessary, we really could go on without too bad. I mean, we might get lucky. Nipton might have a doctor. Uh, but let's 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 err on the safe side. Go back to Doc Mitchell, buy some more doctor's bags while we while we while we can. Fix up our legs and then head south, and then head north again. It's gonna take us a long time to actually get get out of here, isn't it? Now, the question I kind of find myself facing, though, is... There's another area down here. Yeah, the Mojave Drive and beyond that, the Canyon Station Utility. You know what? Our legs are barely holding on as it is. Let's leave that for another day. We don't need to get all shot up. We're already carrying a lot of crap anyway. Far more than we can actually sell. So let's just head back to Mojave Outpost. And then to Good Springs. You know... It occurs to me we have an anti-material rifle that we haven't tried out. And we've got it all fixed up. So I'll admit there's part of me wants to just try it out. It's like, we're on the road. And there are scorpions over there somewhere. I just saw one skitter past. So, I mean, there's no real reason to do it. But there's a definite part of me wanting to try this out. Nah, better not. It's a, those, that, those are big bullets. Those are expensive bullets. It'll be a waste of ammo. Darn it. And here's where his jury rigging really shines, I think. It's like, here's a guy who has a service rifle, right? I can take that for 500 caps. And he has a series of cowboy repeaters. I can take those for 800. Thank you very much. That's 1400 in your pocket. And now I can turn around and use those cowboy repeaters to fix up this anti rifle, which makes it worth, you know, 5,000 caps. That's, you know, that's tidy, you know, 3,500 cap pro profit. And I can also use that service rifle to fix up my, lar my what's it called? Light machine gun, that's the word. And if I were to fix that up right now, to take it up to, yeah, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good improvement, 54%. Makes it, you know, 
3,000 caps, 3,600. Yeah, I need the money back that I just paid you. Here, have one nearly fully conditioned anti-material rifle. And that's nearly all the money back. <laughs> Which means we can then turn around and say, give us all your money and all your ammo. That's us 4,000 caps richer. All thanks to Jerry Rigging. It's, a, it's an amazing little perk, I love it. So, uh, Ranger Ghost, I have some good news and I have some really, well, I, I, I tell a lie, I don't have good news. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Yeah. Yeah, the Legion turned that sinkhole into a graveyard. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... <sighs> All right, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Yeah, did you have any... Yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, you needed to know. Unless you burn the town, don't take blame that's not due. Things are going to get uglier before the year's out. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Does get us a nice sum of experience, though. Hmm. Well, she can't do any, do any legion hunting. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you. Wish but you know what? I. You shut your mouth. It's like. Yeah, she can't do any legion hunting, but 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 I can at the very least. Right after we sell more crap to what's her face at the bar. There we go. That's about us as uh, well set up as we can be. And do I really want to walk all the way back up to Good Springs? It's like right now we're about as fragile as you can possibly be. Thank you so very much, Harry, and your flipping violescences. <sighs> but it's like at this rate, I'm going to be the the best long distance sprinter you've ever seen. It's like I'm go I'm going to have to walk all the way back up to Good Springs and then all the way back up, just so I can go. You know, when I could just go straight to Novak. I mean, you can. I can't be so unlucky that I can that I can find two towns with no doctors, right? Uh, but it, the cautious part of me is saying, okay, take the long stretch of road that you know to be safe. You go to that doctor. You fix yourself up. You get you get stocked up, and then you head back to Nipton. But it's uh, basically almost night already. It's, it's four o'clock. So we get, get get another what like five hours. <sighs> Good Springs or, or Novak? Good Springs or Novak? Uh, I want to go back to Good Springs and, and get more supplies, but I think I want to go on to Nipton more, to Novak more. It's like it's it's been too long. We've been you know going back and forth between Mojave Outpost and 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 Good Springs for too long. We need to get moving. It's like yeah, we already told Johnson Nash about the missing package, so we're probably not going to send mailman assassin teams after us. You know too quickly but it's not good for my reputation if I just you know abandon a job we do need to go get that platinum chip we need to get on the road we can't just keep walking up and down this road I mean it has been very profitable it's it we, how many caps we have right now 31,000 caps it's like it's, it's not a million but it's definitely a good start yeah we need we need to get going I'm sorry, I'm sorry, legs, torso, and arm, but we can't just keep, you know, dilly-dallying. We need to get going. Welcome to Nevada, the silver state, it says. Here's a nice little pass. And you know, maybe it's just me being a suspicious bastard, but Dad always said to me that, you know, you need to be wary of ambushes. And if there's a good place for an ambush, this would be it. It's like... Here's a narrow canyon with only one way in and out. Which means if someone can, you know, come up here, come up the other end, they'd be able to wrap up a caravan nice and neatly without really without really any resistance. So keep a weather... I was going to say keep a weather eye out, but thank you, Eddie, for pointing out that we have enemies up there. So, if there's an ambush... The best way not to get ambushed is to not be where they expect you to be. 
In this case, we're going to climb, climb up the rocks behind them and maybe see about shooting them in the back of the head. Yeah. I mean, it's not really honorable, but it's going to keep us alive. So I like that plan. Oh. And we have someone else over there in what looks like metal armor on, on top of that ridge right there. Let's see. What uh, actually... Yeah, actually, we have an anti-material rifle. And I was just saying, wouldn't it be nice if I had a place to test it? <laughs> yep, metal armor. Of course, it's a big gun, and I don't really know how to use guns at the best of time, but... Okay, we'll just bullet time. Oh my goodness, I think I just... I think I just died and went to heaven. Come on. Come on, I can't be this bad. Are they really that? Can they really not hear that? Come on. Oh, how, how much are these bullets worth right now? 54 caps! Or, or, or are they six caps each? Tell me they're six caps each because I'll feel, I'll feel a lot better about, you know, blowing 150 caps down the drain. I really need to improve, improve my marksmanship. And you know, just just out of curiosity, if we were to try it for, with, with the with the plasma defender, get the good ammo in. Just really quickly line up the shot. Yeah, one shot. But, but Eddie, anti-material rifle. It's like, can, how can you not? Did you hear the way that sounded? It's like, I'm going to invest in guns. Just so I can hear that sound more often, without the pain of missing and you know miss and dropping 150 bloody caps worth of bullets down the drain. Also, apparently these guys didn't notice. Hey. I was gonna say they didn't notice, but apparently they. Come on. Come on, where's your friend? Oh no, you got knocked down. That is unfortunate, sir. Okay, don't mind if I do. We'll take all of your crap, and we'll quickly convert you. And yeah, good job us. And we can go climb up there and cra and you know convert their body into energy ammo. So that's good too. Just as soon as we find a good place to drop down without breaking both of our legs. Oh boy! Oh, we have a friend. We have a big. We have a, a, a small problem. You know how I said we should go back to Good Springs and get, you know, doctor's bags? You know what? This is a case for Steady. And we do have, I think, one of those. Yes. We'll just quickly pop you in the head. Thank you, Steady. Ooh, look at that effect. Isn't that marvelous? Okay. <laughs> I like my low plasma defender. And the question becomes, do we want to press on? We have red over there. Eddie, do you know how far that that red is? Like, could you give me an indication of it? Oh, it's 20 feet that way and it's coming to kill us. Or no, it's it's, it's a bloat fly three miles that way. We don't, we don't need to worry about it. <sighs> Am I insane, Eddie? Hello. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Oh joy! And the steady just wore off. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Ow, 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 oh crap! I think there's a valuable lesson to be had there. Which is that you should always heal up before the vice, because just in case some Legion douchebags might pop up out of nowhere and make you run this entire way all the way over again. And quick save. Now last time we were here, there was a, th a fourth viper down in, the, down in the midst of the valley. But on this occasion she hasn't seen fit to spawn, I'm not sure why not. But it makes me nervous, because I don't know where, th where they are and where they're going to come for me. 
Now the question becomes, are we going to see more Legion? And if we are, we should probably be wearing the good armor. After all, there's no reason not to be wearing this. We're out in, out in the middle of nowhere. We might have, you know, Legion jump us at any time. So we want to be wearing the good stuff. I'm really on edge. It's like, I know... There they are. There they are. They're the... There they are. Yeah, vilified because the because the assassin squads that, that you said to kill me, I killed them first. Okay, and I I maybe that's a bit of meta gaming. I knew they were coming because I because they killed me the last time. But you know what? I think I'll take it. I don't care. And look at all the free energy ammo that they're giving us. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> yeah, that's four for four. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm gonna say, if they keep setting us like this, that's 44 Magnums, that's a Trail Carbine, that's late Leech Praetorian Armor. Like, if they want to keep sending us, you know, more more, more Goose Squads like that, well, let's say I wouldn't mind it too much. Okay, so how far are we from Novak right now? Pretty far. Yeah, we're pretty far from Novak right now, and it's getting dark. So the question becomes, do we press on? Or do we start for the night at whatever this place is? I mean, it's got sandbags, it's got windmills, somebody <laughs> human lives here. Or used to live here, or may maybe will will plan to live here once it's construct once it's constructed. Either way, that means that there's probably somewhere I can go to sleep for the night. Without having to, you know, travel a lot. Actually, change of plans. We don't need to sleep. It's only, you know, 8 o'clock. I bet that if we were to just turn on the, yeah, tur turn on the night vision mode, we could just, you know, head all the way straight to Novak during the night. Yeah, I like that plan. I like it a lot better than, you know, invading someone's home and saying, hey, do you mind if we bum a bed for the night? Hello. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yeah, I, I see that, but, um... Is there nothing else you want to tell me about? It's like, you know, this is why I'm tied up in front of the house. That doesn't see anything, except for the bird. Did the birds tie you up? That doesn't make sense. Oh, this is... curious. And I suppose there's a bed here, but... Okay, Eddie. I think we might need to go to bed after all. Because I'm pretty sure we've started seeing things. Yeah, definitely time for definitely time to head to bed. Okay, <laughs> bright and early. So we should be able to just head straight up to oh yeah, we're critically dehydrated because we haven't drunk in three days. <laughs> yeah, after we drink. Then we can head north to Novak. I still want to know where that guy went. It's like, you saw him too, right, Eddie? It's like, I, I'm not just, I didn't just imagine a prospector tied up in front of that house, right? That, like, that wouldn't happen? I hope. I don't know what's going on, Eddie. I, I worry that, I, that I'm just, uh, well, just seeing thing, thing, things up. Do you hear something, Eddie? I thought I heard a Brahmin just now. Okay. Okay. I'm not hearing things. I mean, uh, yeah. That there's that at least. Oh, uh, we have NCR. Who are you fighting? Apparently a mole rat. I want to say. Yeah, mole rat. Tell you what, it's a good day. I'm in a good mood. Let's just follow the caravan north. You know what? They've got that. Nope. Th these guys don't, though. If we want to follow the caravan north, we need to help the caravan survive. Oh, it's more Legion! 
You know, I'm feeling pretty good about my decision to, you know, t to kill you guys now. Yeah. We'll just kill these guys. Is there another one behind there? I see a red mark. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, it's a good day. Let's just walk casually up towards Novak. Ooh, another plasma vendor. With these guys. I mean, if I'm going to be a caravan, a caravan master, I might as well get some practice in with these guys.